at Infocom 2024 in the AI experience section of the Central Hall. I'm here with Rochelle from Avixa. Rochelle, the show has been fantastic So for me so far. How has it been for you? Oh, it's been incredible, Megan, and we're delighted that you are here, so thank you for thank being you. here. But it's been um, an incredible opportunity for us with the opening of Sphere and then, of course, welcoming thousands of our industry professionals that are here for Infocom starting yesterday and are continuing through today. The halls are busy, they're packed, the booths are busy. We love to see this. What are the numbers looking like so far? Can you give us a little preview? Oh, of course I cannot. <laughs> but of course, our numbers are looking very strong. Um, we're certainly ahead of 2023. Um, we're chasing down 2019, but of course, 2023, we're up considerably. Um, exhibitors, net square footage, as well as our overall attendance. Yeah, I like you have so many different zones and experiences. You haven't seen, there's an esports sector. You know, you have some stages set up. There's lots of stuff going on. And obviously we've seen AI all across the show floor in many different forms and different booths. But right now behind us, you have some presentations going on. What's been happening here? Uh, we've had a lot happen here, but of course we started with our keynote, of course, yesterday, um, addressing AI and everything has changed. Keynote provided by, um, of course, QSC, QSIS, uh, Joe Pham, spoke agnostically about how AI is going to impact the pro AV industry and how all of us really can do something within our companies, right? And how we can leverage it, use it to innovate, use it to optimize and be more efficient. Um, and we continue that discussion here in the AI experience area with a diverse lineup of speakers. Um, right now we have a digital out of office, out of home, sorry, digital out of home um, ads taking place in regards to AI. We also have demonstration of generative AI as well as Kudo that's doing language accessibility and translation simultaneously while our sessions are going on. So making it really easy for um, individuals from any country to attend and translate our sessions in their native dialect. How great is that, right? It's been fantastic. So I purposefully got here a little early before I was supposed to meet you so I could check things out. I've been really enjoying listening to this speaker talking about AI. I missed Joe Pham yesterday, but I have actually have requested that somebody send that to me because I always love to hear him speak. I think he just has incredible, and you're right, agnostic views on the industry. And I also got to check out over here, you can see there's some little booths. We have Kudo right here, some other stuff going on, the AI generative photo booth, which Rochelle convinced me to do. <laughs> And that was so super fun. easy to do. It's super easy, so much fun, but in, in a cool, innovative, creative, fun way, it's showing you what generative AI is all about. And we're happy, of course, to have content-rich thought leadership around AI and then bring some technology and solutions to make it practical and really have the opportunity to experience it. But you can peruse through this entire exhibit hall in Central, over in West um, Halls as well, and it is busy and you can not find a booth without AI mentioned, of course. And we're going to see more of it, not just here at Infocom 2024, but in the future as well. I agree. And I love that you guys let me, you know, the future of technology is my passion. I love that you guys always approach me about working on stuff with you for that. And you're like, hey, we have this really cool new thing. You should come cover it and check it out. So thank you so much for taking the time to show me around here and chat with me. I really appreciate it. So be sure, if you have not yet, come check out the Infocom AI experience on day three. It'll be the last day to check it out. And of course, you can always find all of the latest Infocom emerging tech news at launchcode.com. Thanks so much for joining thank me. Thank you, Megan. Great to see you. you. Too. Thank you.